nothing good could come from that. The wrist restraints were used to ensure the patients didn't harm themselves when in the tub or while using other equipment. Although they may have caused some discomfort, they were there for the good of the patients. I hated them. They made me feel like a prisoner. Jet nozzles allowed therapists to stimulate specific body parts with a high-speed flow of water. You take off your clothes and they shoot this water at you. It really stung. Especially if they just kept spraying in one spot. Now that is not humane. Nothing good could come. Please leave. Okay, must not need either of those. They wrapped us in those rubber sheets for hours at a time. Doesn't sound very humane mm. either. It's heavier than it looks. Epsom salts, but you had to bribe the attendants to use them. Those are massage oils, but I never heard of an inmate getting a massage. I think they stock the shelves just for show. We were supposed to put our personal belongings on the shelves while we were in Hydro, but sometimes they disappeared, so no one did. Please leave it on. The dark is so lonely. Once a week they made us clean out the drains. It was disgusting work. There was a secret code that they used to turn the machines on and off. They never let me see what it was. What a dreary looking place. It's all very confusing. I don't know what everything does. Once it's locked down, there's no getting out. It's so heavy, it used to take two attendants to lift it. You can't imagine what it feels like to be locked up in there. It's dark, it's hot, and you can't get out. We scrub those walls every day, but you cannot scrub away the smell of fear. I used to stare up at that window for hours, wondering what was happening outside. It can't be opened, you know. You're trapped in here like the rest of us. Gotta say, the voice acting in this game all around is pretty good. Yes? Were you... sick? I'm not sure. I, I became... confused. I think life outside became too overwhelming for me. I believe they called it a nervous breakdown. I mean, is it important to you in some way? Why can I talk to you when I'm looking at it? I don't know. Except I have a deadly fear of being trapped inside. Maybe that's it. What did you talk about? Oh, yes. All we ever talked about was going home. It was the guiding star. The beacon ahead. The goal for which we existed. Home. We talked about it constantly, endlessly. Every day we woke up wondering if that day would be the day. Even a criminal knows when he's going to get out. But we were in prison with no release date. With only the hope of one day returning to our husbands and children. What was it like? It was... harsh. I suppose there was something wrong with us, and they were only trying to help. But it was very difficult. I don't believe anyone outside really knows what happens in these institutions. I suppose they're better off not knowing. 
What finally happened to you? Oh, I finally got to go home. I don't remember much about that anymore. But I do know that it made me very, very happy. At least she eventually got out. Although her spirit still seems to be here, sadly. They'd keep us in there for hours at a time, but it never seemed to help much. Nothing's happening. It's off. Nothing's happening. Maybe this controls it. There was a secret code that they... about all we can do in here for now. Let's take another look around the basement. Fever therapy. It's locked. Fever therapy? Never heard of that. Furnace. It's locked. Of course it's locked. ECT. It's locked. Oh man. Electroconvulsive therapy. Not looking forward to what I'm gonna find in there. Morgue. It's locked. <laughs> yeah, I hope I don't have to go in there. Every moment you waste, your son comes closer to being mine. Why is it Malcolm is used so often as a villain's name? Seems like I know a lot of games or movies where characters with the name Malcolm are villains. I think Marilyn might have some more information we need. I remember now. They killed my baby. Then I killed myself. How can I be dead and still talking to you? I don't understand. Oh, hello. What happened to Teresa? They took her from me as soon as she was born. They wouldn't even let me hold her. And then they... They... they burned her. Do you have any idea what happened to your cigarette lighter? Dr. Metcalf took it. He did it to torment me because he knows it reminds me of my sister. I hate him. It's the only thing I have left. Please find it for me. Please. Dr. Metcalf has kidnapped my son. Do you have any idea where he could be? I'm sorry. We've both lost children to that man. I wish I could tell you not to worry, but I can't. Your records say you were making this all up. It's a lie. My family is trying to cover it all up so they won't be disgraced. And Dr. Metcalf is in on it. But my Teresa was born, uh. and she was beautiful. And then he killed her. So that's what's going on. Do you know anything about that control panel next to the steam boxes? The code was supposed to be secret, but that was a joke. They never changed it. 
All they ever did was flip the second and third switches from the top to on, and then everything would work. So her family was obviously pretty affluent, and it seemed like they didn't want this scandal of uh, unwedded pregnancy at her age with this character, whoever he was, whether he was this Tommy or not. And so the family tried to convince her that she wasn't pregnant, tried to convince everyone else that she wasn't pregnant and was just thinking it up. And it seemed like Dr. Metcalf probably got paid to keep her locked up in here. That's sad. At this point, I'm more inclined to believe her than to believe him. At least that's what I'm going to believe. So, now we know how to turn this on. Uh, now it works. Now if you remember, we had that diary with the pages that were stuck together. She gave a hint about how they steamed open her mail. That was actually a hint to uh, use the steam box on the book. So let's just do that, shall we? Or use the book in the steam box. I think there are monsters down here. Freddy will scare away the monsters, Josh. Just like he always does. He's a good watchdog. Now let's take a look gander at what was on that stuck together page. Get to it real quick. This next page here should be it, the one that we were, couldn't see before. Dear Diary, today Dr. Metcalf took me down to the furnace room just like he said he would. He unlocked the door with a key with a big square head and took me inside. Somehow he had gotten a hold of my high school yearbook, the one with the signatures of all my friends in it. Ah, so now we have the key to get into the furnace. He told me I needed to learn the difference between fantasy and reality, and then he threw the book right into the furnace. I couldn't believe he would do something so mean. So that's what that was saying before. Sorry I couldn't read the diary before, I figured out how to expand the window that I'm looking at right now as I'm editing this. Some stains stay with us always, no matter how we may try to scrub them out. Out, damned spot. See what's behind door number three. Can I help you, lad? What are you doing here? I'm just an old Irishman who left home looking for a better life. It's true I didn't starve, but I'm not sure I found what I was looking for. What do you think of it? Tis a hard place, lad. And there's not much difference between the people inside and the ones outside who are walking around breathing God's fresh air. 
And if I were one of those people, free and easy and doing what I pleased, it would scare me senseless to know that. Who keeps things running? Oh, the new lad. The one they have here now. He's doing fine. They'll not be missing old Seamus O'Rourke. Why don't you leave? One day they'll come in and replace all this old machinery. Then it'll be time for me to move on. I haven't saved in a while, so why don't we do that? I could build anything I could. Whatever they needed around here, I used to make it myself, right at this bench. Manny's the hour I rested my old bones there. Leave that be. I like it there. Get along with you. Find your own place to sit down. They're old and abandoned, just like me. Don't go poking your nose where it doesn't belong. There's nothing in there that concerns you. A temperamental old cow she is. She'd break down in an instant if you turn your back on her. And how far do you think you'd get in this place with no power? Yeah, I don't think I want to turn the lights off now that I think about it. This place is scary enough. Ah, you'll go daft, lad, if you try to figure out where all those pipes go. Leave that to an old expert like me. Malcolm hung that there just the other day. Business. That water is causing no end of mischief. Oh, the door is like to Careful, man! If you touch that cage or anything on it, you'll get a shock the lakes of which would light up all of Dublin. That's a new one, that is. You won't find a key for it on that big ring of yours. Old reliable, that one. Not like that sow of a generator. Transitions are really nice, considering. It's a shame I couldn't get this to work on a more modern system. Empty. We shut down the oil burner years ago. Ah, here's some fuses. Those would be your number three fuses. Industrial. We use them for most of the heavy equipment. Do they keep light bulbs in that Be camp? careful with that now. Don't hurt yourself. That's me old lightweight motor oil. It's amazing how long machines will work for you. All you have to do is take care of them. Why the heck would anyone ever keep light bulbs in it's a can? It's just odd bits the new man found lying about and didn't want to throw away. Smart lad, that. Waste not, want not. I'm surprised at how little the light bulb has changed after all these years. Ten penny nails. Good for knocking together two by fours. Here's the furnace itself. They certainly don't make them like that anymore. Hot! <laughs> yes, Oliver. The furnace is hot. <laughs> They're as tight as an Englishman's wallet. <laughs> mm. Penny. 